All right, it's out here. Uh, you see him that well feeding the chickens. Hey, back up a little bit. Just trying to you see him a little bit better. There's Hank. Hank the rooster. Uh, little ones, many. The little funky one with the rooster. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Always something. A little pecking order there. But, um, wanted to just talk about my YouTube channel. I've been focusing a lot on affiliate marketing for the longest. There's our dog, Lucy. All right. Always something. Uh, I've been talking a lot about affiliate marketing for the longest. And then lately, if you're a subscriber, been kind of venturing off into other topics. Uh, and I keep forgetting the cameras there. <laughs> but I've been talking about current events, news, everything. There's basically a lot of craziness going on in the world. And, you know, kind of personally been through a lot of craziness as well. Um, but my channel's more so... I really need to fix that thing. <laughs> Our cat gets up on air and starts scratching the things and then they come apart from the wall and then the wife was doing something with the lights she left a little solar panel thing up there and i don't know whatever but so on my channel i'm gonna start focusing on a few other other topics that i feel are, are important that i've actually been through as well number one mental health um you know with affiliate marketing crypto trading which is the other two things really um your mental health plays a part in how successful or unsuccessful you are uh you know and i've personally cycled meaning you know made a bunch of money and then i got to a point where i wasn't making a lot of money that i'm currently rebuilding myself back up and um you know it's a process and mental health really does weigh in uh on how successful you are so my channel really gonna be focusing on mental health so the egg that we just got from those chickens just one they normally lay around two or three a day but lately we've been getting one especially because it's pretty kind of dingy outside all right loose go on so uh loose go sit sorry the dog is just acting like a nut, I never have a chance to do videos because there's always, you know, stuff going on. And now she's running back and forth around the yard. But anyways, um, mental health. Uh, really kind of going to be focusing on uh, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. I had my own gripes about NLP for a while because it was pretty... It's one of those things that uh, I thought was grimy, grimy cells tactics but it's it's really a lot of different things to help you think more positive and right now our dog's just sprinting back and forth uh, let's see if i can flip the camera around lucy go sit it's getting annoying but anyways um why it's so hard to do videos because i live in a house with 11 animals and it's always stuff going on and it's just really annoying sometimes uh you know trying to do the feel it marketing trying to be the dad trying to homeschool the kiddo trying to deal with idiot animals half the time uh i'm not always just gotta happy but it's just our dog is just super wound up because it's feeding time and the cat is in the pool area kind of egging the dog on let's see if i can see if i get it so there's a dog and then there's a cat i don't know if you can see uh, he's over there I'm trying to do this with the camera facing backwards is the cat down there is he teasy he teased you and you see the cat just jumped down there. But in this way, they, they have a love-hate thing. That, that actually is more like a love thing going on. But the cat eggs the dog on and gets her wound up. But um, mental health. How NLP can help you think more positive. And with a uh, part of that, I actually want to talk about uh, logical fallacies. Uh, logical fallacies dealing with uh, narcissism. I have... Some people that are close to me that are, uh, let's just say, covert narcissist. Um, 
And, and, you know, I probably should watch what I say there because I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a, uh, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I have my own issues. But, you know, when you go down the lines of uh, what some of the characteristics of a covert narcissist are, you could pretty much kind of put two and two together. But anyway, I'm not saying that to say that I'm such a good person, but it's just things I'm dealing with. So I'm going to start posting things that help me in those situations and hopefully there's someone out there that will help as well but the thing is i also see it in affiliate marketing and direct sales network marketing whatever you want to call it uh there's a lot of people who just get too big for their britches you know some people think they're better than other people uh, and i've gone through this process myself when i started making a lot of money it wasn't that i thought i was better than people it was just you just don't want to deal with like certain things after a while but any which way i want to talk about that kind of stuff um still talking about digital marketing affiliate network marketing direct sales all of that i think it's all the same and here's an example of them too again go get the cat <laughs> all right and then uh the last thing is uh crypto trading getting back into crypto trading so um started rebuilding up my crypto trading account what i do is i drive for uber and i take a percentage of my earnings on a daily basis go buy a little bit of bitcoin um and just rebuilding myself up that way so that being said if you like the content um leave a comment below if you've been following me for a while if you just come across my channel you actually listen to the whole video with all of my distractions um, you know, names Rob Fraser. Spent 12 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, started, got into sales, or not sales, but uh, stuffing vending machines for Canteen San Diego. Did really, did that for a little bit. Used the GI Bill to go to school. I'm currently studying psychology. And um, I, uh, you know, field marketing did really well. Well, it took me a while to do really well. Then I started doing really well. Then you know, joined some crypto scams and kind of lost confidence, lost, you know, my whole, uh, just lost the whole passion for it because a lot of programs are the same, the same bull crap, just repurposed, repurposed, repackaged, whatever. And, um, 